Hello everyone, this is Michael at tvpainter.com and I have another video for you. This one's going to be how to make the liquid white base medium or the base white medium, whatever you want to call it, uh, that you put on your canvas before you start your painting on wet on wet paint. Uh, it keeps the paint flowing smooth. Uh, for those of you who do not know what it is, uh, it lets the paint glide across the canvas a little better and uh, helps brighten the picture just a little. Uh, it's a good friend for you and wet on wet makes it all possible. So uh, there's a lot of commercial brands out there, but let me show you how to make this stuff uh, in case you don't have any or you know, some people like me, I prefer to just be able to make it myself to the right consistency I like. But let me show you that consistency that you need to look for uh, to help you get started if you do not know how to do this. What you're going to need is some titanium white. This is just went in oil paint. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and squirt some of that out. Let's just try about that much. Now you can use the whole tube if you want to, or you can make a whole batch up and put it in the container. That's what I normally do, but if you want to make it as you go, you can do that. So I'm going to put the cap back on the tube here if I can get it going. And the next ingredient that you need is linseed oil. Let me get down here where you can see it. Okay. This linseed oil is Grumbacher's linseed oil, and it's a real good brand. I like using it, uh, but it's a little expensive, so you can get different kinds of, uh, of linseed oil if you want to, but uh, you can even use the boiled linseed oil that you get at like Home Depot or Lowe's or department store like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pour some of this out. I'm going to start with a small amount of the linseed oil. Let me set that down here. And just use a simple palette knife or some kind of a knife. And just mix, start mixing it up. Now it's starting to break it down and uh, get it real thin. It's going to thin this paint down so that uh, it'll be real smooth on the canvas. And that's what you want. You want that all the the white medium bases are that you buy they're just thin white now some people will may want to add just a few drops of turpen, uh, turpentine or something like that which is okay the only thing about this is the linseed oil is going to keep it from drying it's going to last it's going to stay wet a long time and the uh, when you start adding turpentine or paint thinner to it, then it's going to dry, let it dry a little quicker. Put a little bit more linseed oil. Just add a little at a time. That's the best way to do it. I'm just going to swirl this around. Mix it any way that you want. And come back to that. But it's starting to get real creamy. And you want it to be just like that. Just real creamy. And, uh, smooth it out, get all the pigment broke down in it. And I'm just using the, this paper here I've got as a Reynolds freezer paper. Plastic coat, it's the best stuff I've seen for using just a uh, palette you want to throw away afterwards. Uh, it's uh, I get it at Walmart and it's 150 square feet. And it's just a few bucks to get that but it'll last you for a long time. And it's uh, being plotted right here. Uh, you just get you a little bit of masking tape and you make your palette just as big as you want. And uh, all you got to do is throw it away at the end of the day. Or you can take and put it in the freezer, fold it and tape it up, put your little piece of paper over top of it. And freeze it and save it to finish a painting if you haven't finished your painting. Just a little bit more. So, let's go right here. And let me swirl all this around just a little. Now it's about to the right consistency that I need it. 
and that you would need it too. This is what you want to look for. Okay. Remember, if you're looking to paint, come to my site, tvpainter.com. We have instructional videos and uh, just sign up for a free account. You can watch uh, different kinds of videos and things like that. And uh, we offer brushes and just all kinds of materials. Love to have you there. tvpainter.com. Okay, let's see here. Now this is the consistency that you would need. See that? Now watch how if I just kind of shake it a little, see how it comes off there? That's what you want. You don't want it so runny that it just falls off, but you want it where it'll, when you spread it on there, it's going to cling to the canvas and not run off the canvas. So you could go a little thinner if you wanted to. But time you, if you keep mixing this, it's just going to get creamier and creamier. And uh, let me show you, I made some earlier just to give you an idea. But I've got this little bottle right here, and you can take the top off. It's just an empty little plastic bottle, and you can store this stuff in these bottles and uh, make your own little uh, white based medium container you can carry around with you. So that's what I like to do is get me like a pint can, but I had this one laying around. I thought I would. Uh, uh, start adding some white medium to it and it'll stay fresh in there as long as it's sealed up got a good seal on it so that's that let's see here and I will have some new live videos so tune back in I'm going to be doing some new videos coming up in the next few days so I hope to see you there and we'll maybe we'll have some interactive live chatting in, enabled on the video where you can we can talk to one another so Check back with us and uh, remember, paint and make it happen. God bless.